Hey guys, welcome back. It's been about a week since I've seen you. Um, this is the look we're going to be going for today, so let's just get on to it. Don't want to waste your time. I'm wasting enough already. Let's go! Hey guys, so again, we're just going to start with priming the eyelids, and I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I like to do it after I do my brows because I kind of use this in lieu of concealer to carve out the bottom part of the brow to make it look more pretty. And once you prime the lid, you want to use an eyeshadow that's about the same color as your skin tone just to set that. I'm going to be using the shade Lyric in the Kat Von D palette. The Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. No. This is just going to make it easier to blend out the eyeshadow that we're going to put on top of this, all the color and all that. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for today, you guys. But as always, we will start with a transition shade, which is just slightly darker than our skin tone. Again, I'm going to use Noble. I'm trying to turn so that y'all can like see what I'm doing without the lighting doing all that crap that it's doing. Okay, so I'm feeling something with blue, maybe? I don't know. I really like the way these look. The colors aren't really coming across in the camera, as usual. But we make do with what we have, right? My shitty phone camera. Starting with a blending brush, I'm going to use this brightest blue shade called Synth. Pump that into the crease. That is bright blue. And then I'm kind of swiping it down onto the outer portion of the lid. This is definitely one of the more powdery uh, colors in the palette, so you just want to tap off your brush to make sure that you're not going to place too much color on the lid and then you're not going to be able to blend it out properly. And this is looking nothing on camera what it's looking like in the mirror, so I'm really hoping that this translates and actually looks decent. Not like I just splattered paint all over my face. And then you want to take the first blending brush that you used for your transition shade and just go over that to blend out the edges. I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. A smaller blending brush. And the color Dark Wave, which is like the navy color, kind of comes off as more teal whenever you use it. I thought it would be more navy, but we're going to go with it. Use this just to deepen up the crease. You're basically going to use the exact same placement as you did for that first blue color. You're just not going to blend it out as much. And if you feel like you've lost some of that color by blending too much, you can go back in and just add more and more until you're happy with the depth and the concentration of color. I honestly still have no idea where I'm going with this look. Next, I'm going to take a pencil brush and go in with the black shade in the palette. Where is it? This one. Black metal. Just plain old black. Once again, I'm just going to deepen up that crease a little bit more. This, there isn't a darker blue in the palette, and I'm wanting a bit more yeah, depth. I'm just going to use this and draw into the crease. Not all the way in, but maybe like halfway. I'm going to kind of create it a little V-shape. And I will go back with my smaller blending brush that I used to apply the darker blue and just blend out that black. And again on the other side. And I'm going to take that bigger blending brush that I used for the lighter blue and kind of blend out the edges again. Now I think I'm going to take this Buxom eyeshadow. It's just a silvery, it's kind of a cream shadow. 
Um, it's called Pug, but I'm pretty sure this is kind of old. I don't even know if they still sell this. But yeah. And I'm just going to use my finger and apply it to the lid where we don't have any color yet. Just got that all up under my finger now. I'm going to take the shade Revolt, this silver color from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, on just a shadow brush. Actually, no. I'm going to use my finger for this as well. I feel this, this shade's really sheer, and that's why I put down that Buxom shadow. The cream shadow is going to act like a base for this, which is a little lighter and more shimmery. You could just leave it at the cream shadow by itself, but I feel like adding this powdered uh, to it just gives it a little bit more oomph. Excuse my nasty fingernails. I don't know why I even try to paint them, because like a day later they end up looking like I clawed my way out of a hole. So I'm liking the way this is looking, but I feel like it needs a little something extra. You want to do some orange? Let's do some orange. This could go totally wrong, but we're going to try. The shade Analog in the Kat Von D palette, or should we go with Slow Burn? Eh, it's my mirror. Slow Burn. Now I know why people do that. From the Electric palette. I don't know. We're going to go Slow Burn. You see this? Look at that. Love it. I'm just going to use an angled brush and pop that under my eyes. Actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to go with a pencil brush and put that under. That isn't thick enough for my, for my under eyes. And if you get any fallout from any of this, you can just take a clean brush and just flick it away. Don't press too hard or else you're going to, you know, press the shadow into your skin. It's going to look all kinds of crazy. Yes. Uh, to warm this up a little bit, I think I'm going to take the shade Vox, which is a dark brown from this palette on this small angled brush that I tried to do the orange with originally and just push that up into the lower lash line and then I'm going to blend it out real good and hopefully that doesn't just mess everything up. Actually, I'm going to try just adding it to the outer half and then blending it out and see what that does for us. Then just take a clean blending brush and blend that all together. You want to be careful when you're blending right here next to the orange and the blue because they are complementary colors. If you blend them together too much, they're going to turn brown and just get really muddy and nasty. I'm going to go back in with just a little bit more of that orange. Blend it out just a little bit more. Not too much this time, we don't want to lose the pigmentation. I'm going to use the NYX Wonder Pencil, which is great. It does like everything. It can be concealer, it can be an eyeliner, it can be a lip liner. I'm going to use it as an eyeliner. And I'm going to pop this into the waterline just to make our eyes look kind of bright. Um, using black in the waterline can make your eyes look kind of squinty and small, which I used to do every single day. And I loved it, but... We're grown-ups now, damn it. Slow burn kind of got into my waterline and mixed with this and it looks kind of pinky and almost makes me look sick. That's okay. Kind of like that. Mascara? I'm going to use Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. Again, just a little ipsy sample. I love using sample mascaras. That's basically all that I use. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah. The more that I'm wearing this, the more that the orange looks kind of pink. But what's done is done. I think I'm going to go with a nude lip. 
Uh, so last time I used MAC Myth, I don't want to do something that pale this time. I'm going to use my favorite nude in the entire world, which is YSL's Beige Tribute. It's just gorgeous. It's perfect. It's expensive, but it's perfect. I just love it. So uh, that is a wrap. So this is the finished look. This is what we got going on. I know this isn't going to be the most wearable for everybody, but I like colors and I would totally wear this out. Um, especially because I wear glasses, so I feel like it kind of tones down any kind of eye looks that I may do. So, comment down below, let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe if you haven't. It would mean so much to me. So much. I love you guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week.